energy of the blonde girl and absorb it up into the heart and transmute it, send it out. That's how you do it. This is the teaching of the Ah, but I normally don't get very angry in that way. But I, this time, some emotions were like, you know, hidden. <laughs> some <laughs> like hidden emotions, right? Dylan's <laughs> laughing his dumb oh. off here. I'm, I'm, I'm making a sound like a dog. And they did also say about my world work that I have to do. They did say um, I. They said, when, when you have to do the work, and I got a bit worried. I thought, what if I can't do it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought, but what about my dancing and my work <laughs> and my business? <laughs> and the spiritual master said, don't worry, you're going to be very happy. <laughs> but learn to share the happiness with others. Yeah. You could use the spirituality to go and dance. I can talk to you because you could teach to dance the spirituality. Yes, it's not a business and another thing. Yeah, business and dance together. Yeah. And without this money you get, you can teach more. Yeah, you see, but with my mind, the way I visualize helping the world, mm -hmm. you can help the world with dance. My, my my idea is always very big. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way to have it. <laughs> My idea is that for me, it's like, I have to go and do all this. I'm going to have to do this because it has to be American, it has to be Japan, and it has to be London, and it has to be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. 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 And he just said that, you know, your happiness is going to be equivalent to the amount of happiness you're going to give to everyone else. Yeah. So easy. Music and dance are happy. Yeah, so you can't have dance without music. <laughs> yeah. so I don't know about that. <laughs> and, and finally, just to, sh to finish off this little share. Of <laughs> yesterday I had a dream. <laughs> which is very rare. Which is rare. I don't dream that often. <laughs> yeah. and, and in my dream I saw my Guruji. Come there, and he said he's really pleased with my progress. Really, very really good. Uh, progress. Yeah, and he said to me, I'm very really pleased. And do you know what I? Uh, he also he did a blessing to me. And, and I saw my so you know because I've got me with my seven chakras. I saw my next chakra glow golden. Mm -hmm. So my eighth chakra, or the soul chakra, mm -hmm. or whatever we would call it. Yes. So I saw that glow, and he just went like this to me. And yes. I just smiled, I looked at him, thinking, oh. Because yes. I thought, oh, I see my next one glowing. <laughs> and, you know, and then he just went, mm, you know, kind of. But, uh, you know, that was a bit unusual, because I tend well, not to get. Mm. Yeah. 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 Because when you get enlightened, you get the Lord Jesus Christ, so it's Sanat Kumara coming there, and he teaches you on the head, and all the masters around the seven masters are all being so you can't fall from where you are. And you must be getting close to that. I don't know because I've got a lot to do yet. <laughs> got yeah. but, uh, but, but, but it's, it's the first, the first uh, dam. Get the light then. The first dam, says Debbie. Oh, first dam, yeah. <laughs> but it was beautiful to see it because I woke up feeling quite good, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, that was really quite nice. Very good. It was great. Yeah. And uh, just to let people know about one last thing, sorry, I don't keep on saying this, but when I was clearing up all my blockages well, to help. When you get out of um, I asked my masters that would I have to come back again to clear all this? And they said, the work that we're doing, it'll, it's all done, they said. But we will have to come back and we'll clear up some of the incidents. 
Yeah, because what tends to happen is every time, uh, I don't know, but when we do the seven steps, when I used to do it before, I would use a whole one whole light with the seven, mm -hmm. I would put one light and I'd squeeze it, <laughs> squeeze it, and then I'd beam light on it just in case any little black liquid comes out, little drops come out. And I used to get some more drops coming out when I used to do it. Whereas whenever the masters came and helped me, every time I would do that, there would be nothing coming out. So then once the master said to me, they said, you don't need to do the round ring with the seven. They said, trust us. <laughs> so I said, okay, fine, all right, because I thought, just in case, you know, squeeze it a bit, and I would do it all the time, and I'd never get any black liquid when they would do it. So, so they just said, trust us, you know, they just, <laughs> so I said, okay, so now I don't do that when the spiritual masters come to help. If I was doing it by myself, then I would do it. But anyway, that was a really, it was an excellent yeah, exercise. Funny. Yeah, that was brilliant. It was beautiful. And I was really happy with the whole thing. Ah.